If you had told me 20, 25 years ago that somebody would be honoring me with a Lifetime Achievement Award for photography, I would have told you you were smoking something. About 20 years or so ago, my son, 11 years old, decided he wanted to go to the Four Corners, the only place in America where four states meet in one point. The first trip I bought, I think a $350 little point and shoot camera just to take a few pictures. I was never the photographer in the family. I was never the person saying cheese or anything like that. And, but I worked in a visual business and I, you know, where you, each day you tried to, to produce essentially a mini motion picture. And time went on and, and the next thing I knew, I was buying my first digital camera, and one night I was playing with some software on the computer uh, and, and cropping the pictures and doing those sorts of editing things you do, and was really surprised at how much fun it was. And the last camera cost more than $350, which is what the first one cost. I, I couldn't believe in 2001 or whatever it was that I had spent $350 on a camera. That was outrageous. I tell people I have had some of the great inspirational moments of my life at 11,000 feet in Rocky Mountain National Park with this unbelievable sunrise unfolding before your eyes and filling the sky and at sea level on Lake Road in the Cone where the same thing might happen because of moisture and water droplets in the atmosphere. I enjoy taking the landscapes. That's really what speaks to most people is the landscape shots where there's this brilliance of color lighting up the sky with maybe a boat in the foreground or something. But I also really enjoy the challenge of wildlife photography. The camera can see things that the eye cannot. It's pitch dark sometimes, 45 minutes before sunrise, 50 minutes before the sunrise, but the camera might see the promise of what the day has ahead. I started doing it for the reasons you, you do a hobby, is to, to kind of escape the world. and. You know, when you're on Lake Pontchartrain, sometimes by yourself, sometimes, you know, with, with others around, taking it all in, uh, but often it's a moment of solitude. And um, the, it's, I've witnessed the miracle of a new day many times, and I don't have the words to, to say how awe-inspiring it can be.